Hey everyone, I'm Adiana and I really love plants. So I have a few house planty things that I need to do. This needs to be watered, repot, repot. And I was browsing YouTube today, as one does, and I saw a video by Becca De La Plants where she did like a house, house plant tag. And I thought that'd be really fun because if you've been enjoying my videos, I thought it'd be cool to answer a couple questions and maybe you can learn a little bit more about me. Alright, so let's get started. First, I have the questions in front of me. Oh, actually first, I have to say I am drinking water today. I have not hydrated enough and H2O is important. But if you see me looking up, it's because I'm in my living room, and my living room is where I do most of my plant stuff. Like, I water a lot in here. I repot a lot in my living room on my coffee table because I can sit down, and I can put something on our TV, and I can, like, watch a new show or a movie that I like watching while doing my houseplant stuff, and I really find that relaxing. Plus, my dogs get to hang out with me. Because they're allowed on the couch. They're not allowed on the bed. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's start. I, let's, I want to repot my Syngonium Maria because I've noticed uh, fungus gnats have been coming out of here. And so I thought it'd just be easier to repot it because I've tried bottom watering for a couple waters. And I let these get pretty dry and they still aren't gone. So I think it's time for... Repot, throw away the old soil, replace with fresh soil. So I'm doing that. Let me read the first question. When did you first start getting into house plants? I started getting into house plants almost two years ago now. I brought home a jade from my work. I work at a horticulture company and they give away plants sometimes if they have uh, overstock of them. And usually every plant that I would bring home, I would kill. And it was very, you know, discouraging to kill everything that you brought home. So one day my work was giving away jades. And I wasn't actually going to get one. But my mom, who also works at the same company in a different department. Some good roots on this. Uh, she told me. Like, she encouraged me to pick one up. And so, you know, at the time I didn't know it was a jade, but I brought it home and I fully intended, like, I had it in my mind already. I'm going to kill this plant, but it's pretty cool while it lasts because that was the trend. But, no, I kept that thing alive. And what I learned from a, the jade plant is that I am a neglectful plant parent. I, oh, like, I underwater all the time. I don't really fertilize when I should. My house is old and drafty, so I can't always give plants like the best environment to live in, but that jade made it. And ever since I learned like what kind of plant parent I am, like the obsession began. You can ask my husband how fast it grew. Uh, so yeah, it's like two years and already, I don't even know how many plants that I have. I'm scared to count, honestly, because I don't want to know. Because I have houseplants, but I also have a lot of succulents and some cacti under grow lights in my office. So, it's a lot of plants just right there. Alright, I rambled on enough. First started getting into houseplants about two years ago. It's a short answer, if you didn't want to hear me say all that. What is your oldest houseplant? My oldest houseplant is that jade. The jade is still alive. I'm actually really sad because she's recently had mealybugs. And I used neem oil on it. Some people say not to use neem oil on jade. I'm not sure because then, like, everything is contradictory. Some people say it's okay. Some people say it's not. So I used it, and it got rid of the mealybugs after uh, two treatments. But my jade leaves are falling off like luckily i have a lot of leaves on there that was dead leaf i picked off but 
you know, she's just not as good as she could be, which is kind of sad. I'm hoping she'll recover, though. Uh, I don't, I don't know what the problem is and why she's dropping those leaves. I don't know if it was because of overwatering, which doesn't really sound like me. So I did change the soil into like a very dry mixing soil or yeah. And we'll see. I hope it gets better. But yeah, the Jade is my oldest house plant, about two years old. What was the first plant to really kickstart your collection? <laughs> it was that Jade plant. I think I kind of answered this already in question one, but yeah, the jade plant started the obsession. I have lots and lots of plants now. I love them all. My husband's a good sport. Like, he puts up with them. Getting as much soil as I can off of the roots. It has a really nice root system. Ooh. Uh, what plants do you struggle to keep alive? Uh, Calatheas. They require water soil and they like humidity and those are just things like I don't really provide. That's the hardest plant to keep alive. I actually though, I'm pretty proud of myself. So I have a, a Stromanthi Trio Star, Trio Star, whatever, a Begonia Iron Cross and a Begonia Rex variety. I'm not sure really yet, but I've kept all of them alive. They are on shelves above my kitchen sink so they get a lot of humidity from when we do dishes and then I also run like a small humidifier there too so that helps but yeah I'm pretty proud of myself because I'm keeping them alive and that's a that's a win for me oh I put my plants here now I can't read the question what was the biggest mistake you made with a plant oh actually over watering it uh yeah like I said I'm not an overwaterer by nature like at all but Sansevieria they really really love a sorry this dirt is hard to get off sorry lost track Sansevieria they like a bone dry soil and I overwatered uh Sansevieria cylindrica and it killed it from root rot and yeah, I didn't think it was possible, but I did it, and that is the biggest mistake I've done with a plant is overwatering it. Maybe also not read, like, knowing the care instructions for it, because I would just, like, when I was first starting, I was just going in and seeing something pretty and buying it and not knowing what it would need, so I ended up killing it, because what was one that I did? Oh yeah, no, like a rattlesnake, Calathea. I brought it home and I thought it would be okay. Nah, it died because I wasn't even giving it the proper light, let alone the proper watering that it needed and the humidity that it needed. Although I think rattlesnakes are supposed to be on the easier side. Maybe I'll try them again sometime, but not soon. What is the most expensive plant you ever bought and is it still alive? So I think I covered this in a previous video, my regrets video, that I think I said already that my most expensive plant is a philodendron gloriosum and it was $98 pre-tax. It is still alive. I said in that video that what I said in that video is, what did I say? I already forgot. Mm, most expensive plant, $98. Oh, it started out with like five beautiful leaves and I didn't do my proper research and I didn't know that philodendron gloriosums are runners and so you need to have their growing root exposed when you plant them or else they won't survive and I buried the growing root and all of the leaves fell off and now there's only there's only one leaf it's right over there Ugh. i'm hoping it's gonna be okay because i would hate to have spent that much money to kill it but i've killed a lot of other plants and they weren't as expensive but they probably can add up to about that do you still have a certain genus or variety that you're drawn to I'm really drawn to Sansevieria. They're very 
easy care and low maintenance. I did a video about them. If you want to check it out. It was about the Sansevieria family and why I think they're easy care and low maintenance. They might not be like that for everybody, but for me they are, so they're one of my favorites. I have a lot of Sansevieria. Uh, I have a lot of ZZ plants. I like ZZs also because they're easy care. Right now, oh, but right now I'm really drawn to Hoyas and Syngoniums. Kind of obsessed, actually. I joined so many Hoya Facebook groups. <laughs> he has to keep guard now. Watch out the window and make sure, like, a leaf doesn't attack us. But yeah, Hoyas are really popular with me right now. And Syngoniums. I've really been into Syngoniums right now. But, you know, a forever favorite is Sansevieria and ZZ. But current obsessions are Hoya and Syngoniums. Uh, Philippe's come to tell Belle that her dad's in trouble so she can go find the castle. In case you're wondering. Oh, we're on question 8 already. There's only 10 questions, by the way. I haven't even gotten to some of the things that I want to do. Just spend all my time doing this. Do you also garden outdoors? If so, edibles like herbs, fruits, or veggies, or do you do flowers? <sighs> Okay, uh, with all the time on my hands, I tried to do a veggie garden, but we have a uh, bed right next to our mudroom over there that every year gets just infested with weeds, and we're lazy about it, so we don't do anything. We never done anything with that space, but this year, I decided that I wanted to do a veggie garden, so I dug out. And I did a lot of the weeds, I plucked them out, and I made a border and put like stone to encase it, make a bed, and that's where I am. And it's been like four weeks probably. I still have to like put a weed killer on there because I can get all the weeds and I still have to like dig some out, put some compost in, and then pick now veggies, herbs, and stuff for that season because it's probably fall. So what do you even plant in the fall? Like corn, I think? And pick veggies that'll do well in that season. But I work on it. Like, I try to work on it every weekend. So hopefully, you know, that'll be done. And then, and then last season, my mother-in-law told me that she was going to... I'm going to put it in here. She was going to do my garden because the front of my house looked ugly because it had no garden. And I told her, you know, do whatever she wants, but I want easy care plants that I don't have to do a lot with. Because uh, besides going out for a run and maybe like a hike or something, like I don't want to be outside weeding and watering garden plants. That's just not what I want to do. So... She picked hydrangeas and some others, and, like, so far, they've been great. Really easy care. <laughs> Hope you can see all that. I think I might still dump it out further. So this is the soil that I'm going to throw away. I just put it in this box over here to get out of my way. And oh, I didn't bring scissors to open up my new soil. See it. I bought new soil and I'm really excited because before I've only used Miracle Grow uh, soil. So this is my first non Miracle Grow one. But I have to get scissors. Hi. So, full disclosure I got scissors, but I also cleaned out this tray with the old soil and I got myself a beer. So, yeah, it's editing magic, if you will. But this beer is River Fiend, and it's from a local brewery, like semi-local, to us. It's in Darien, Illinois. It's Miskatonic, and I love their beer so much. They just released The Gardener, which is lemon and a lavender beer, and oh, I love that beer. But this one's also good. It's a New England IPA, and it reminds me of a cocktail. I don't know why it does. 
or I just have a pop-up on my thing. I'm just gonna wait for it to go away. But yeah, I don't know why this beer reminds me of a cocktail. Like it's like pineapple-y and just I don't know, just reminds me of a cocktail. And it has a really nice haze to it and it's yummy. As is a lot of beer that I drink. I also brought the can over because I think it's really cool. It's a snake. So yeah, if you're near Darien and you haven't tried Miskatonic, I highly suggest it. Okay, let's get back to it. Let me start watering this one while I'm yapping. In here I have uh, rainwater that I've collected and I diluted some fertilizer in like a, a pitcher of water. Actually, it's right here. This pitcher of water, I diluted some fertilizer, and that's what I'm watering with. That. I love this bottle. It came in a kit I got off of, got off of Amazon for like succulent supplies. I really like it. Yeah, but this is actually uh two Hoya cuttings that I got unrooted and I rooted them. It took a long time, but I finally did and I potted them up together and I think they look really nice and I'm happy. I think they look so pretty. Oh, spilled water. So I also bring paper towels. Okay, let's open this soil. all the way. Yeah. Ooh. It smells really good. If you like the smell of dirt, I do. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about this soil. It's Happy Frog. It says potting soil. Yeah, that's it. It says a lot of stuff on the back, but I'm not gonna read all that. Looks like it has a lot of perlite in it. Still like a... Not like a super well-draining soil, in my opinion. I think it would hold on to moisture. Like here, like... It's kind of sticking to my hand. Okay, enough playing in the dirt. I'm going to go get some perlite because I think I'm going to add some perlite. Well, no. I know I'm going to add some perlite to this mix before I pot that some going in. Pause again. Okay, I got the perlite, got a scoop, and I brought a bowl to mix everything in. Wow, we're having pr problems. Okay. I think we're on question nine. I can't read it right now. I do think I want to get um, orchid bark for my potting soil mix. Right now it's just been like cacti succulent mix added with perlite and that's all I've done. But I think I want to try, yeah, like orchid bark. I've heard that's really good for fast draining soil. Something about charcoal. Don't really know what that's about, but I've heard that thrown around. I want to try mixing it up with my soil mix that might have been too much we'll see once i mix it uh, maybe a little more oh let's go on to the questions which is why I did this. <laughs> Question nine. What is the coolest plant in your current collection? Coolest. Oh, I just got, oof, that also might have been a little bit, whatever. 
so a while ago I traded some string of hearts cuttings for some Hoya because I've been into Hoya as I mentioned and I got a Chelsea cutting and she said it was a princess cutting but I don't know if it's a princess because it has a lot of white on the inside and um I traded a raven for a princess cutting with somebody else and that princess looks a lot different than what I got. So that cutting I'm pretty excited about because it's super pretty and like I'm starting to see a little bit of roots because there are uh, unrooted cuttings and I love watching props grow so it's really exciting. So I think that one's really cool. What else? Ooh, I got a Syngonium white butterfly. It's over there. Ooh, that's so pretty. It's so pretty. I got a holly too. A Syngonium holly. That's also beautiful. Like Syngoniums are so pretty. I'm really loving them. Ah, oh, I didn't even tell you what I got just yesterday. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got this Syngonium elbow off of Facebook and I am oh I am so excited about this I have been looking for a syngonium elbow for a while and they were so expensive but this is a rehab plant and I got it for a pretty good price and I'm just I'm so excited about this one okay this is the coolest plant this one wins all right I mix the soil and I think it's pretty good so I'm gonna start potting up the syngonium Take another drink. Try not to spill. Oh. Yeah, it's like a beer cocktail. I don't know. It, oh, it's just delicious. I actually wanted to try like propagating these, but I don't know where to cut. Ugh. Something about Two leaves. I don't know. I don't know if mine are old enough yet. I heard syngonium are really supposed to be easy to propagate, but I haven't tried it yet and I'm scared. Okay, I'm just gonna pot it. Should I use the same pot if this had fungus now? That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> It'll just be karma for me if this gets fungus mats in it. A little more. Okay. Let's go on to the last question. What is the number one plant uh, you want in your collection but haven't acquired yet? Ooh, I have a whole wish list. Who else keeps a wish list on their phone? I do, like, I know some people write it down, but I do uh, pictures of it with the, the name in the picture so I can remember. Hold on. There's a Hoya on there that I just added a couple days ago, but I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, I keep a wish list, a plant wish list in my gallery. I just make an item, or, uh, make an album and I just add pictures to it. I know I definitely screen this is sorry, it was taking forever. Ooh, and I almost <laughs> dropped my phone. Ah. Yeah, it's a Hoya I can't pronounce. What can I pronounce? Hoya Calistophia? Oh I don't think I can show that because it has people's names in it, sorry. But that's a really like look it up. It's a really pretty Hoya. Uh I have one more. I have another Hoya that I just put on there. Sorry. Hoya Elliptica? Ooh, ooh, I found it, found it. Hoya Polyneura? Ho Hoya Polyneura? I don't know. Look at, look at this, look at this. It's so beautiful. It has like, the leaves have veining on them and ugh, they're just gorgeous. 
I did have a Syngonium on my wish list too. I already forgot the name of it, but it's like the foliage is black, but under the leaves are red. And I don't remember the name of it, but that one looks really pretty. Uh, so besides those, I think, oh, I've been also like, um, trying out the different monsteras so i have a monstera deliciosa i have two actually like a pretty more mature plant and then a baby plant right in front of me and i found out they're really easy care i love so then i got an adam sonii and that one was also like really easy care so what monstera did i get next oh i got uh, a monstera stiltipicana that one came in uh, like that was in the mail for a long time, which I also have in a video. Damn, I've been recording a lot of stuff. But yeah, that was in the in transit a long time, so it came in with some cold damage. So right now I have it like in a makeshift greenhouse to try and give it lots of humidity and oh, we'll see and all that jazz, so it can uh, come back. Did I answer the question? I want a Thai Constellation. I've been into Monstera. I want a Thai Constellation. <laughs> I don't even know if I even said it. God, I am like... How many of these have I had? One. Not even. Uh, there's something wrong with me. Maybe it's the allergies going to my brain. But... I want a Thai... I'm just making a mess. I want a Thai Constellation. Yeah. That is... A plant that I don't have that I would really like along with some ho new Hoya plants okay that's it I'm gonna end it here so I can watch the rest of Beauty and the Beast Beast just saved Beauty her name is Belle sorry <laughs> sorry Belle Beast just saved Belle and now she's gonna go take him back to the castle and then they're gonna start to fall in love as the movie goes so yeah okay Thanks for bearing with me. Maybe you learned something else about me. No, let's not say that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me answer all those questions. I'm going to, you know, log off. I'm just going to turn off the camera. And repot the rest of this so I can watch the rest of the movie. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.